What's up everyone, it's Ice Man Oz, aka AJ, and in this video we are going to talk about day one of Battlefield 1. So basically the topic of this video is the things that we need to see from my standpoint in Battlefield 1 on launch. So the first day the game releases, these are things that have to be in the game and key features that need to simply work. So the way I phrase that is quite interesting and you'll know why I phrase it that way in a moment. So let's get right into this, shall we? The first thing that we need to have is good hit registration, of course. And this is something that was not evident in Battlefield 4 on its launch. It is quite possible from the testing that we've seen that the hit registration may not be that good uh, regarding the pre-alpha testing it hasn't been spot on, although that is subject to change. To follow suit, no crashing no FPS drops so in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3 when the game launched there was repeated crashes and this really came down to the fact that they didn't do enough in preparation for the game's release hopefully they've learnt their lesson here from their previous experiences and I honestly believe they have because if you remember DICE releasing Battlefront they did a pretty good job on the launch and it went pretty smoothly. Next up is no FPS drops so in Battlefield 4 on PC people were having optimization issues with their computers even if they had a good PC. This is something that definitely needs to be sorted on launch and I'll refer again back to Star Wars Battlefront. It was optimized very well on there so it'll also be done well here for Battlefield 1. At least that's the hope of course. So I'm kind of going around in circles here. Simply put, the game has to be completed on launch and it's a main point of contention because of Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4's launches. If you don't remember, those two games had so many issues regarding uh, server browser issues, being disconnected from servers, the aforementioned FPS drops, and just many different issues across the board. But let's presume none of these issues exist in Battlefield 1, and it's a pretty smooth launch and a pretty good experience. The other concern is weapon balance. So in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3, specifically in Battlefield 4, they've done somewhat of a decent job regarding weapon balance, although there have been many complaints that the weapons do the exact same thing. In Battlefield 1 you won't really feel that because regarding the weapons they do perform very differently. Even from the brief experience I've had I have noticed that there are distinct differences between the weapons. Now, of course, that can change on launch when more weapons become available, but I think that when weapons are more different from each other, there is the possibility that there will be unbalanced weapons because there are so many different variants of the way the guns perform. In Battlefield 4, the weapons were balanced because they all pretty much perform the same way with slight variances. If it's the case in Battlefield 1 that the weapons perform vastly different, then it could come up where there are some weapon balance issues. And finally, a user-friendly in-game menu. This is mainly for PC players because we've had to put up with Battlelog, which is basically a web browser, which in short is a complete mess. You get disconnection issues all the time. Sometimes you can't even join the server. When you try to join a server, it'll say could not find server random error messages, it's an absolute mess, so I'm glad that on PC they're going to get rid of it, and I hope that the, whatever they bring in next will be similar to the consoles, because I think the consoles have a pretty good menu system. But that being said, leave your thoughts in the comments section below about everything we discussed today, but with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.